let's take new exercise in autodesk inventor see we have here back view then there is section view aa see you will see the direction it is going to show this side and this is the top view from this uh, section view and there is isometric view all dimensions are in millimeter unspecified fillets are 2 mm okay so basically we are going to start from base you will see this base thickness how much you will observe here 15 millimeter from top you will notice 56 minus 128 this is the center distance radius 45 then these outer radius 24 okay 75 millimeter and center to center 30 millimeter now here choose new now go to metric standard millimeter dot ipt create now i want to first operation is going to be add material so i'm going to choose extruded boss base either you can select start plane let's say extruded boss base and you have to choose any one plane which you are going to start so make it isometric select xz plane let's activate line tool and uh, draw one line press escape key go to here tangent arc now select this point and see this is going to create one tangent arc press escape key activate line tool draw one horizontal line at the end point now again draw one center line now select this line and here we have option center line okay press escape key out now here one option mirror now here choose one two three mirror line activate this one and select this apply done three point arc so first i am going to connect these two points okay press escape key again activate line tool connect this point to this point exit now make some constraint horizontal constraint select the center point of this curve center point of this curve center point of this curve all in one line this is important okay now select this origin point make it undo procedure here choose coincident constraint select this line and this point okay press escape key let's apply dimensions twenty four millimeter forty five millimeter now center to center distance 130 okay now distance from here to bottom edge 128 minus 56 75 press escape key choose tangent and select this curve and this line now see this is fully curved now simply choose exit or finish isometric view now go to extruded boss base see now here i am going to profile already selected plane already selected now direction so i am going to keep upside and here apply distance 15 millimeter you can name this solid body say okay yellow that's look now let's add this circular body 119 diameter for 35 and there is a one hole no this radius 35 where diameter going to be double and then there is a hole 35 6 diameter okay and we are going to add this one 56 75 40 and there is a hole 28 diameter so a sketch now 
now you can drop down and choose from here yz activate line see okay normally the line going to curve but let's make it curve three point curve activate line tool and connect this line with this okay smart dimensions 56 tangent select this one this one tangent this one this one tangent press escape key now apply dimension 40 finish extrude now in this case plane profile everything selected in direction I am going to choose symmetric now see now total how much we need to extrude 75 keep here boolean add say ok this is going to look to silver okay it looks more practical okay let's add these all holes now these holes let's say 36 there is a 18 dia hole and depth 15 minus 94 millimeter now select this face and here's create a sketch circle now center point now the first uh, diameter it's going to be 18 18 36 okay okay this diameter 18 36 outer one and again I am going to draw one more see the center Seventy. Again, select this point. Now this is going to be thirty-six. Even though you can mirror, that's not a big deal. Okay. Now here we have one hole. So let me draw one circle at center, and this is going to be fifteen. Thirty diameter going to be 30 let cross check 36 actually not 30 this is 36 press escape key double click 36 okay let's extrude and do whatever thing 119 finish sketch extrude now here we have too many profiles so we have to select so I am going to select this one now this is going to be direction perfect 119 minus 15 add boolean here choose plus now I am going to select these two options and here only select 4 see keep add boolean ok now again I am going to select this hole this hole now here choose cut now direction okay positive negative okay that's fine direction you can keep like this in boolean keep cut plus now again you have to select profile see so keep cursor at center and you will see now this is selected and here also I am going to select okay I want to select through all so here one option you will see here through all now this is going to cut through all cut direction okay we need both side at this condition we need to cut 
down and up both side so okay we are the profile let me rotate this okay we already extrude like this so no need to simply choose here through all bottom okay okay just okay fine now what we can do we need to add this one 20 uh, 48 diameter distance 89 and from here to here how much 193 minus 26 first let me create a plane offset plane offset from xy plane okay let me choose okay from here now here 193 minus 56 and that is going to be minus 137 okay just press and rotate now select this plane create a sketch <coughs> circle now this diameter going to be 48 now dimension center to this bottom 89 let me select vertical constraint now select this origin point and this point see this is in one line finish extrude now this is important see profile selected plane selected now direction we have to choose now here we have option through all two if i am going to choose two or select two next see if i am going to choose two next this is going to extrude up to this body say okay right click and uh, uncheck the visibility of plane select this face create a sketch circle and here we need to make a hole and hole diameter radius 12.5 so diameter 25 finish now extruded boss base now here select profile so select this profile and here in boolean choose cut up to next just rotate with the help of shift see next means inside say okay I just rotate and see look we forget to add hole here diameter 28 40 and all radius going to be 2 millimeter you will see here the hole Select this face, create a sketch, circle, see center point, 28 enter. Finish a sketch and simply choose extruded. And here profile already selected, here choose in boolean cut and make it here through all, to through all. No need to define the dimensions. Now there is a rib 12 millimeter okay you will see here yz plane create line connect keep cursor see you will see tangent line uh, tangent uh, select this one press escape key to out if you want to see slice you can do like this finish a sketch and uh, I am going to choose here rib select this one twelve millimeter and uh, both side equal you 
can see the direction okay and look the rib is created fillet now here i am going to choose first option add constant radius now here choose 2 mm and i am going to select the vertical line always choose first vertical line so it makes your job easy just press and rotate plus again 2 mm select this one rotate okay we done if you see is the material going to be steel and uh, the color you can change okay let's say smooth yellow don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks and autodesk inventors thanks for watching